Hi guys, uh, it's me, Ty here, and uh, just a couple days ago I replaced the light switch on a CAT 627 scraper. And uh, I'd never done it before, so I was going to show you guys um, how to actually do it. So this is what, let's see how well you guys can see it here. That's what the light switch looks like, it's a turn dial. Um, yeah, I know it's kind of tough to see there, but... But yeah, it's a turned out. It's got the off position in it. Um, it's got the park lights or the um, it looks like park lights, but it's actually just the interior lights. And then it's got your headlights in there. Um, but yeah, boy, I wish I I wish you guys could see it a lot. Okay, right there, there you guys can see it perfect. Yeah. So if your six twenty seven scraper looks like that, um, that's the light switch you're replacing. So uh, what I had to do first is in the center of the switch there inside the cab, you'll see a flathead screwdri screwdriver screw. Um, I went ahead and I unscrewed that out, took that screw out, and then uh, I was able to pull that metal switch there straight out. And it didn't just fall off. I mean, I had to apply some force to it. And I realized that with some of this stuff getting older, you know, you know, whatever corrosion would hold it on. So yeah, you'll... You might, you might have to use a screwdriver to pry it out, whatever I didn't. I just was able to grab it and pull. Um, and then underneath of there, there is a very thin uh, hex nut on there. I believe it was a 13 16 but I could not get a socket on there because up at the top, you guys will see, um, there's a little uh, nipple or whatever that comes through, that, through uh, the dashboard there. And that's on the other side of the switch. So I couldn't get a socket on there. I could not get a box end wrench on there and I could not get an open end wrench on there. Um, so what I ended up having to do was I got a pair of channel lock pliers and I grabbed it straight on and was able to twist it right off. And uh, at that point, then it I was able to just screw it, unscrew it with my fingers. And when you're doing that, um, after you get that nut off, that piece of tin there that shows um, the indicators for the light and everything, um, Go ahead and pull that off because I didn't pull it off because when I did pull my switch out through the outside of the scraper, um, that tin fell off on the floor inside of the um, scraper <laughs> and I, I had a heck of a time finding it. Um, so uh, what other pictures do I have? Okay, so on the outside of the scraper up in front of the cab, there is a door there and it was two nine sixteenths. Uh, bolts that I had to take out and then you can swing the door open and you will see the other side and for this here it was right in the center of the picture that is the uh, the light switch there it's got three um, three wires going to it and it's just so yeah you just use a flathead screwdriver to take them off and what I ended up doing is my boss he'd already ordered the switch so I was lucky at I knew how to disassemble it by looking at the brand new switch, but if I was ordering it for my own scraper or anything like that, normally I would pull it out of the vehicle myself and then compare it before I order it, but then I wouldn't have known how to pull it out either. So um, so what I did is I went ahead and I hooked one wire at a time, and then I would hook that up to the brand new one, and then I would unhook the next wire, hook that one up to the brand new one, just so I didn't get any of them mixed up. And we'll keep going through pictures here. So, yep, this here is what it looks like after I removed the flathead screw and pulled the adjuster, the knob off of it. And um, so, so yeah, there you go. You see the hex nut on there. Like I said, I think it's a thirteen sixteen. This is what it was, but a, a channel X pliers will. Hold on, screw that. And then this here is the brand new one, the brand new uh, light switch there. And it's got a little nub in uh, right off to the side there. Um, and that, like, so that goes through your firewall. That was about it. So, yeah, I went ahead and I stuck it back in there, um, screwed the nut in on the inside, uh, put the selector knob on, put the flathead screw back in it. And then uh, close the door on the front of the cab and put the two 916 bolts in and tried out the lights and they all worked perfect. So hope this helps you guys. And uh, when I looked this up on uh, Kat's website and everything, it, it um, 
looks like this might not just be the 627 scrapers, which this one happened to be in. It, this might be in a variety of uh, Caterpillar applications. So, all right, if you guys like this content, like, share, and subscribe. And um, I'll just keep kicking out my videos of how to repair stuff, uh, how to save money, uh, my trips traveling over to Asia for part of the year. All right, take care, you guys.